All right, what's going on, everybody? Dark and Wendy back at it again with another video. And as you can see on my screen, we are back at my wiki. Now, last time we started my Generation 2, the Kilo region, which is, has 212 Fakemon of mine. And we stopped at Aroma last time. And as you can see on my screen, we are going to continue on with Vovo, aka Rip Off of the Baby, obviously. So, yeah, with, when it came to Vovo, it's kind of a weird kind of situation. Like, I don't know what I was doing. Honestly, like, I remember when Flo Bebe was re announced and everything, and I know I I didn't want it to be a ripoff, but it ended up looking like that anyway. But what can you do? It, like, it's just weird. Like, just like Flo Bebe can't leave, doesn't leave its flower, Vovo, it, it likes rings and stuff like that. And it's supposed to be a representation of a fairy ring, which kind of, which is like a ring of mushrooms. But I wanted to play off of that and do like a fairy with a ring. So yeah, when it comes down to it, I'm gonna have to revamp this definitely. All right, it's Evolution Vula, the Hula Hoop Pokemon. It looks, it's, it's kind of better. It's no longer a no longer looks well. It still kind of looks like Flabebe in the face, honestly. But other than that, it's all right. Like, it uses a ring as a hula hoop now, or whatever. So, and it has, like, things that look like pigtails, stuff like that. Uh, it's weird. It's just honestly very weird. And, let's see, the Pokedex entries are really simple. It loves to use rings that it collects as toys, and if it loses its ring, it grows very depressed. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much, like, like, I can't really say much about them, like, I wanted to do a representation of a fairy ring instead of not using instead of using like mushrooms. I used a fairy with the actual ring and stuff, and it ended up looking like a baby, which was which was because it was around the time when X and y, I started this generation around the time X and Y started to come out like come out with the leaks and the coral corals and everything. So yeah, it's kind of hard to it was kind of hard to avoid like influence because because we all know that. That fake a lot of fake Pokemon artists like whenever something new comes out with uh whenever something new comes out with Pokemon like when it comes to designs and everything like that we all uh, a good chunk of us automatically just jump on f jump on it like we find like we use certain like aspects of designs in our own designs like when people like when uh so Galio Nilox started coming out we see it we you, all of a sudden we see different stuff with the cosmic stuff. Like different star patterns and stuff like that all over the place, and like where uh, Yamask and Ruin Regis and Copper Regis, like the regional, pretty much regional evolutions and stuff like that. Now everyone's doing regional evolutions and stuff like that. So anytime something like that comes out, we start doing similar stuff. And this this was just the case for me. I ended up making myself look like for Bebe. Eh, not that great. Next up we have Squeak, aka the Eevee of my region, sort of. Well. No, not well. The, it's kind of it's the Eevee of this region, but the true Eevee of this of this like universe was probably was probably gonna end up being in Generation Four, and it'll be a while. It'll probably be a while before we get there. But yeah, Squeak, Squeak is just the field mouse Pokemon. It, but instead of it just having one evolution for each thing or whatever, it has two. Yeah, made that gotta make that special. So it evolves. It evolves the first time with the actual stone, and then it evolves at a level instead of it being at a level or happiness first, and then doing a stone. I did it backwards, just to be different. Not even one cares though. <laughs> All right, its genetic structure has been influenced by scientists allowing it to evolve into three different forms. They seem to enjoy being outside during nights when showers and thunderstorms are present, are prevalent. I mean. But yeah, it's pretty much like a like you know those mice that science that scientists always experiment on. This is pretty much what it's probably gonna be based off of. Like it has the red eye, the red eyes and everything. It has you could tell that it has the yellow of one evolution, the black of another evolution, and the the blue of another evolution. So yeah, that's that's where all that comes from. And as you can see, it's evolution right here. We got Icarode and Lyavolt, Ev Evil and Violent, and Meriden and Celsi. And we're going to jump right into Ikaro because it's next. Now Ikaro can technically be my Gerblitz clone or Pika clone equivalent or whatever. But it's Gerblitz clone in my universe so deal with it. <clears throat> so 
the Ella Mouse Pokemon. It evolves with the Thunderstone and then Live Oil at level 30. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's based off of a, I think if I'm being, <clears throat> now hold on, let me go back. Now what's funny about Squeak, what's funny about Squeak is Squeak is a rodent. It's obviously like a genetic mice, genetic mice. But when it comes to its evolutions, they're each based off of marsupials. They're based off of mars. The evolutions are based off of marsupials. That kind of it kind of ties into the genetic instability. So Icarod is based off of a Icarod like Icarod and Live are based off of like wallabies, kangaroos, whatever things like that. Eve on the violin are Tasmanian devils, and Meredith and the Sills are quolls. So I'm just gonna get that out the way right away. So now let's get now let's dive into them. Like I said, Ikaro, the LML Pokemon, even though it is based off of let's be specific, uh Patamelon. Yep. Yep, the Patamelon. I definitely need to revamp it so that it looks more like it, but yeah. Yes, yeah, uh like I said, small most troop small marsupial. Let's see. Yep. They store food inside of their pouches, which gives them a large amount of energy. They, the ends of their tails can produce up to 10,000 10, volts of electricity. It's kind of like a taser. Yeah. Not much to say about it. It's, it looks, it looks okay. Like compared to its older, compared to its older thing, I should probably show you, you guys the old squeak too. But yeah. Oh my God. I haven't seen this in a long time. All right. This was the 2014, 2015 version, and this was the 2017 version. Uh, like they're remotely the same. I just updated the the colors and stuff like that. Like the colors are brighter. I gave it fingers, and other than that, and I change and I changed its eyes. Other than that, they're remotely the same. And I actually based it off of something specific this time, and it's okay. But I don't have to. I'm gonna have to like redo it again, because yeah, the art the artwork is outdated. Well, yeah, well I made it last year, but I just feel like I feel like it needs to be redone again. Just it's just this feeling I have. Now let's go back to, and look at Squeak, so I can show you guys the evolution that Squeak Estate made. Because Squeak was, oh yeah, Squeak has some changes. Squeak has some changes. Now the original Squeak, oh, it was just a great gray mouse with with just brown, some purple for for evil and yellow for uh Icarod and the blue orb here for uh Meriden. It was just weird. Not much it didn't look special at all. It was just like generic with a few special with a few tidbits that were reminiscent of his evolutions but nothing special or concrete then we have squeak which is pretty much which was pretty much just a chimera it looked like a chimera like a thing for just pretty much it's pretty much it was obvious i'll say like what's the word for it it showed it showed too much i guess like you could tell like the colors were obviously prevalent more and everything you could obviously like it was just obvious more i didn't really like that so now we have current squeak which is a little more like you can still tell because of the colors that are outstanding compared to the white body but it's i feel like it's more subtle i just feel like it's more subtle like this now let's see we got we got icaro let's go to live old. now uh now live old. i have a story about this one now i remember like so like I used to have, so people, so PokeTubers, I, I'm, fr I'm friends with a good chunk of po of the PokeTubers, well, a good, a fair amount of them I'll say, or I, I'm acquainted with them, and sometimes they I, they ask me to use their design, they they ask me if if they can use my designs in their videos, or they they used to, so when it comes to live old, I used it in one of the, I think it was used in one of, I think it was Hybrid Heroes videos. And the comment section where it just went wild. I was uh, talking about, um, why is it, uh, why is it, uh, why is it masturbating? Why is, why is it like this? And I'm just, and I was just in the comments like, what are these people talking about? It is, it is reaching in its pouch. How is that masturbating? How is that jacking off? What are they talking about? It, it was just weird because people, these guys, 
all these people were talking about how how it looks like it's masturbating and stuff like that. And I'm just like, it's reaching in, it's reaching in its pouch. How is that masturbating? But you know, people are gonna think how people are dirty minded. They're gonna think how they're gonna think. It's weird, but that's how it is. And let's see, the older version was the older version was just a bigger version of Icaro. It, it now has a generator tail, and let's see, you can tell like. The dark color didn't really fit well with that because I didn't really, because I didn't uh, completely do the the selection right. Like, and the colors were just bad anyway because, like, what this just doesn't look appealing at all. But yeah, like Livo looks better like this since like the red is more accent like the the red. The red helps it, I, I'll say. The red helps it a lot to me. And I already know I'm going to have to revamp it because like this is from 2017 and it's been a long time. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to revamp it. And I want and I'll make sure not to have its hand in its pouch this time, even though its main thing is it creates it creates ores of electricity in their pouches. And they, they reach into their pouches to throw out to generate orbs and they throw them at you. That was their main deal, but no, it's masturbating apparently to some people, weirdos. But but I can't really say much. All right, let's go on to yeah. It's based on a kangaroo. If you didn't tell already, let's go into evil. Like I said before, it's based on the Tasmanian devil. It has been, often been discovered living in the attics and basements of old homes. Some stories have claimed that this Pokemon was the personification of wickedness. Yep. All right, so. Evil, so evil and violent are pretty are pretty good already. Like I'm proud of these two. I'm happy with these two. Like I made a I, I even made I, I made a video where I uh, did the the process of drawing violent. It's on my that's on my channel. So yeah, it'll be all right. So yeah, these guys are all right. Not much to, not much to say about them. I like how they came out. Well, hold on. We can go back to the we can we can look at the older versions. We can look at the older versions. The older versions, yeah. The older version was was just another mount, like a bigger squeak. They everything was the same for the most part. It was just the different colors and stuff. But yeah, it was pretty much just generic black, gray mouse. Not pretty much. It pretty, it was pretty much more a more Pico before a more Pico came out. I'll say that. So yeah. Next we have Violent, the one you guys already saw the video of. Well, well, I hope some, well, some of you at least, I guess, a few of you, I'll say a few of you. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, it's pretty much just a Tasmanian devil. Not much to say about it. They enjoy being around malicious people and those who are full of rage. It thrives off of that energy, according to old tales. Those of, those who have encountered it are said to be sent to an eternal abyss of pain and agony. Luckily, there have been no evidence of this being true. Yep. These guys are just bad to the bone. Just mm, weird. Well, not weird, fun. Violent. Now, the thing with this, I'll say this. Violent used to be named Devilant. It was weird. I changed it to Violent because it flowed better. Devilant was just like, what the, what? It didn't flow as well. Next up, we got Meriden. Now, Meriden the, the, is pretty much like the chill one of the group. <clears throat> It is often seen as a role model for younger water Pokemon due to its calm and confident nature. Meriden often live isolated lives near beaches and lakes that protect themselves by producing a thick foam from their arms and ears. And as you can see, that's where that the white parts of its body comes in. It, it produces foam from there. And like I said before, it's based on a quoll. So, can't really, well, mostly, mostly well, a, water, well, a water rat and a quoll. Yeah, so you can tell, you can see, you can see the, you can see some of the similar, you can see the similarities. Now let's now we can move on to Celtzy. We okay, we got Celtzy. Celtzy is the endurance Pokemon. They are able to create giant waves by slamming water with its large tail. Known as a common admirable leader, these Pokemon mentor others in order to for them to show their true strength. So it's pretty much like a a, a group. 
I don't think it's a, I don't think a guru is the right word, but it's pretty much a train. It's pretty much a trainer in its in itself. It, it wants to help small smaller Pokemon find its true potential and everything like that. So yeah, it's got Swift Swim, Mossy, and Stamina. So yeah, and I already know like earlier on it looked a lot like I I remember someone saying that it looked like Vaporeon, which. I guess I guess it's understandable from this original from its original stuff because it had the fins all the way down its back like Vaporeon. But now the but now the fins are no longer there. But as you can see, now the fins are no like the fin is only on uh, up to its neck. It's no longer all the way up its body and the extra markings and all this extra stuff that was there. Like as you can see, it's they slowly and slowly left before they. All came back here because a quoll because you know based on a quoll so yeah moving on so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm proud of these two because they're one of the ones that I like from let's see evil violent Meriden and Silzy are all the ones that I've actually revamped I haven't really touched Icarode and Icarode and uh I haven't touched Icarode and I forgot I, I can't believe I forgot his name Livo yeah I haven't touched Icarode and Livo in a while but these guys I'm proud of so next up we got Banana another one that I've recently I've kind of sort of recently revamped I really like how it came out like it just I really like it I really do and it's got is I just I just really like it. <laughs> I, I I can't really say anything else. I just like it. I, I did I just wanted to do a literal banana slug, and that's what I did. It's got it, it is covered in a slimy film that lets attack slide off of it. It covers itself with banana peels in order to hide itself from predators. Yep. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's got an extra evolution. We ain't getting in, we ain't getting to slink cream until way 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 later. But next, but we can go straight into a slugana. Like I'm proud. Like again, I'm proud. I'm proud of these two, Banana and Slugana, because the old, like the older art for it. Like I, I, I showed the old one for Banana too, but it's mostly the same. Same here. So as you can see, not much has changed overall throughout the years when it came to Slugana. Like it was pretty much the exact same for the most part, except I just updated the artwork. But now the, but now it is, it looks like, it doesn't have the arms anymore. It doesn't have like these little arms anymore. It actually has a slug, it actually has more like a slug body. And it has the, and the stuff from the banana is actually around his eyes and not just on the peel. Cause it actually, it helps it tie, it ties it together more for me, in my opinion. So yeah, I really like these guys. When it when it is asleep, it goes into its banana peel and cloaks itself, making it look like the normal fruit. They sometimes hang from trees until the peels are ripened and they fall off. Yep. Next up, we got dandelion. Dandelion is pretty much just a dandelion. That's a dandelion seed or whatever. That's pretty much all it is. I can't really say m much about it. It's it's okay. It's okay. I, I can't I can't say much about it. It's okay. Now, Fluffaline is one of the ones where it's like, okay, well, we have this plant. We need to, we can't just have it be the generic plant. So let's do something else. And this was the result. I don't know what, I don't know what I was doing, but I didn't want it to be, I didn't want it to be a jump fluff again, but apparently that's what it is because it has the one on the head and one on the hand and the stuff on the hands. I'm going to have to change it. And I don't, I didn't, I, I'm still debate. I still have to debate whether or not I want to like completely change its design and make it something else, like actually be a dandelion. But I feel like that's so cliche, so gen and so generic. Cause so many other people have probably done that already. I could probably do it in my own way, but I don't know. I I tend to not like doing designs that I feel are generic. Well, not generic. I have a, I have plenty plenty of generic designs. But I have designs that I feel like other people have done time and time again already. I don't really like doing that. I've I've done it a few times, but sometimes I just don't feel like it 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 would do well with me. I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. 
maybe maybe I'll maybe I'll change it completely. Maybe I won't. We'll we'll, we'll have to see how time goes on. Next we have Buddy. I don't know why it still does this, but yeah, here we have Buddy. Buddy is the butter Pokemon because Buttercups. Get it? it y you get it? Buttercup. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. But yeah, Buddy's pretty much just a Buttercup based thing. It, I don't, I can't really, I don't really know. Like, I just know I wanted to do a pun on Buttercups. And like, I was just obsessed with like Sky Does Minecraft and stuff like that back in the day when I was younger. I used to watch a lot of Minecraft and Butter was like the big meme or whatever. So yeah, here's Buddy. Then we got, but then we have Bud the Elf. It kind of looks like a little elf guy. Has the vine now and it has a flower on its head. Hopefully, hold on, let me see. Let's see. Yep. Yep, makes sense. Makes sense. Definitely makes sense. Yep, has the buttercup flower on its head. And it just looks like a thing. A elf person. Amalgamation creature thing. I don't know. Alright. And we got Butterer. Again, the butter Pokemon. Because they produce butter. Yes. <laughs> Alright, uh, Butterer is just a bigger version of B B Butto. I can't really say much. I, I don't know what to say about these guys. I, 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 have, to, I have to revamp them because I, like, there's not much I can say. Moving on. Alright, Diller. Ah, another another good one that I've revamped recently. Alright, so Diller. Diller is the armor Pokemon. It's pretty much an armadillo. Now this line, I based it off of different types of armadillos. So... So you'll we'll see what they what they are as time goes on. Let's see, hold on. So let's go to Diller's artwork. Get out of here, Buttercup. Uh, yep, it looks better now. Yep. So Diller has a couple of different iterations that were kind of weird. Like, well, not weird, but different. I'll say different. So the original one, it was okay, not much. Like the the shading was kind of better. Cause I use I still I use that old method I use where I would just like do use a selection tool to make the eraser lines, and the highlight the highlights was still pretty meh, but yeah th this dealer was okay I guess the colors were just puke, it had puke colors and I don't know what I was doing with the stripes on his back well I know what I was doing since some armor dealers have that too and I have that but it was just kind of weird because and you could tell I just copy and pasted the legs and stuff like that. It was just awkward. And then we have this one, which doesn't make any sense because it's literally just a ball. And if it uncurled, what would it be? Because it just looks so awkward. So yeah, I, I did. I based this this version off of like a curled up armadillo, but it just it it looks awkward and looks weird. It looks wrong. So now this dealer, I I like it a lot more. It looks like a, it kind of looks like a football, and it has the slots and everything for its body to be in and everything. In order to protect themselves, they roll into hard balls. This allows them to blend in with rocky environments while also giving them a way to escape from danger. Their shells are mostly made of solidified mud, so it makes sure to keep itself dry at all times. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, it's just based off a of basic armadillo with a mud shell. I really, I, I just really, really like how this came out compared to the other versions. Now, Armor Drill. Armor Drill is, I, I like Armor Drill, cause I think, well, hold on, I think it was one of the first ones in the line that I revamped. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it, it doesn't really matter, honestly. But yeah. So, so what's funny about Armor Drill is that. It used to be based off of like 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 uh like Diller, just a generic armadillo. But now it's based off of drum roll. The screaming hairy armadillo. Yeah. Bet you've never heard of that before. Yeah. And it's of least concern, it's still alive. Yeah. A armadillo that has hair all over it. Yep. Is the small screaming armadillo, the crying armadillo, the small hairy armadillo? Uh, 
it was just it was just great i just wanted to do that so bad because it just sounded so it just sounded so perfect and sounded so unique so so instead of let's go let's go to this other oh my god yeah this older stuff let's look at let's look at this older junk what the fuck is this? What in the ever loving H E double hockey sticks hell is this? Cause the, what is this ear doing? What why is this like what, why is this part going overlapping when it doesn't need to? What is this around his neck and why is it still uneven? The spikes look weird, the arms are flat, the body like what is this leg doing? Is it, it was this is just a mess, and then we got this thing which looks like a damn hot dog bun. Like, it, it just looks like it's wearing a hot dog bun, and the arms are nothing, the leg, the feet are terrible. The the spot just random spike on his back that doesn't even have shade, complete shading on his point. The ears are still weird. Ugh, just ugh. Now, current armor drill, I like a lot more. Look at this. Look at this boy. Yes. I, I, ignore the few pixels. But yeah, I like it a lot more. That I got the hair all around it because it go if it, it flows well from what Diller had on its side. The, I have the fluffy tail. The the thing around his body so that it actually has it looks like it has like some kind of armor on. I got the the marking right here that looks like it's crying. The red because, you know, your eyes get red when they cry. And it still ties into Diller's eyes. Yeah. And my favorite part, the legs look good. The legs just look better for me. They look a lot more official in my eyes. And they look they just look different enough from my all my other ones that I've done before. So, yeah, I'm really happy with how this guy turned out. The hair covering their shells are extremely sensitive, so it crowds out when it's touched by others. Their shells are their shells used to be used to create musical instruments for years before being deemed too inappropriate. Yeah, because there was a thing, because there was a thing where armadillo shells or whatever used to be used for a mu musical instruments. I think it was like some kind of mini guitar or something. But yeah, that's where I got that from. Now we're going to armadillo, which, again. I like a lot more than I than the other versions. It ba this is based off of a, glyp a glyptodon, obviously the big ass armadillo that's pretty much extinct at this point. It didn't used to be like that. Uh, again, it just used to be a big, even bigger armadillo. It used to just be an even bigger armadillo. It just, uh, I just made Diller. It just, it was just Diller, but bigger, and still has the puke colors, random spikes. A side, a, along with ones on the side of the head like it's, like it's trying to be toward terror or something and the feet are god awful and then we have this one which took inspiration from Vulcanian apparently because the because of how the legs are segmented and the, the legs and body are segmented and the tail is so weird and it has this ring around it and the spikes are just weird and like where's this other pupil I know, I know it's probably around the other side but oh my it's just too much no just move on no but yeah Current armadillo looks a lot better, a lot better for me. Like its body is still kind of segmented at the end, but that's how glyphodons were as well. And it has the wrecking ball tail, which which added a lot more to it, cause the the fluffy tail from armadillo can even could have easily evolved into this because of how the way the spikes were set up. I just really I just really like how these guys turned out compared to their original forms. Let's see, their shells are extremely durable despite being comprised of mostly mud. Not even a hydropunk can penetrate them. Their tails are powerful enough to topple a tree in one swing. Yep. I really like it. It's just it's just hard for me to Oh wait, not not a glyptodon. Well, hold on. Isn't it uh, isn't the door dicaris the same thing? Yeah, it's still it's, it's still it's a genus of it's a genus of glyptodon. So yeah, that's pretty much it. As you can see, you can tell. Let's go. Well, you could you could tell. The inspiration is right there. But yeah. Alright. I think I think that's where we're gonna end it for for this for this episode of going through Kilo. Um we we we'll continue with Mantor next time. For right now, we're just gonna end on Armadillo since 
I think we're at the at a good point to stop. Uh, thanks, thank you all for watching. We'll catch you all. I'll catch you all in the next episode. And be sure to like and subscribe. Uh, Dark and windy out.